The Art and Importance of Pastoral Visitation by Justin Childers Justin Childers, MDiv, served as a local church pastor and is currently a chaplain at Advent Health Celebration in Celebration, Florida, United States. In the era of social media, texting, and emails, it would be easy for many pastors in the 21st century to put visitation toward the bottom of their pastoral duties list. However, visitation is still particularly important and vital for the growth of the church. I started my pastoral ministry in Indiana and was given a three church district. Two out of the three churches were an hour drive from my home. It would have been easy to rationalize that visitation was not that important and to work on other duties much closer to home. However, the district had been without a pastor for several months, and many of the older and non-attending members had been neglected for too long. So, that first year, I set out to visit as many members and non-members who had a connection to the church as possible. For about the first three months, I put 3,000 miles a month on my car. But as the old gospel song says, quote, I don't regret a mile I've traveled for my Lord, end quote. It meant the world to many members that, for the first time in years, they were getting a visit from the pastor. I had a very memorable visit with one member and her husband. This lady, who had just moved to Indiana from another part of the country, asked a question as soon as we all sat down in their living room. Quote, Am I in some kind of trouble? End quote, she asked. I was shocked by the question and responded, quote, No, why do you ask? End quote. She said that in the region of the United States where she moved from, pastors visited only when the parishioner was in some kind of trouble. My second district was a two-church district located in the Appalachian Mountains. One member, who had been there for many decades, commented that my visit was the first one she had ever had by a pastor. It was the springboard to growth for that church. Prioritize Visiting those who show interest in the message is especially important. Quote, While in the midst of a religious interest, some neglect the most important part of the work. They fail to visit and become acquainted with those who have shown an interest by presenting themselves night after night to listen to the explanation of the scriptures. Conversation upon religious subjects and earnest prayer with such at the right time might balance many souls in the right direction. End quote. The first thing any pastor needs to do when entering a new district is to sit down with the clerk and identify the leaders in the church, especially the elders and deacons. Try to visit the leaders first, even if it is just a few minutes after church. You must have a good relationship with your leaders to carry the work through successfully. Some also will partner with you to visit members and non-members interested in the church. This is a biblical way to visit because Jesus sent his twelve disciples out, quote, two by two, end quote. The second thing to do is to go over the membership list and the attendee list and identify, one, the members who are missing or cannot attend church anymore due to age or illness, and two, the attendees studying to be future members. I have witnessed this in my ministry. People who are genuinely interested need to be visited right away before that interest wanes. They need to be given an opportunity to make a decision and that is best done in person. 
while social media and other electronic methods may bring people to a point of interest in truth, they need someone to sit down with them and show them, line upon line and precept upon precept, why the Bible is the truth. In some cases, phone visitation is the only way to make these visits, but in-person visitation is best. When it comes to missing members or backsliders, it is important to seek these people out as soon as possible to try to reclaim them for the kingdom. We have lost many of our young members over the years, but we must not give up on these dear souls. Many of these young adults came from weak or divided homes and did not have a firm foundation when they came into the church. While some members do not come right back to church because of a visit, the dialogue and personal contact can help get them thinking about returning to the church. In my last district, I visited a lady who had been raised a believer, left the church, and was still on the church roll. She was probably in her seventies, and we had a pleasant visit that lasted over an hour. She told me during our visit that she was thinking of coming back to church. Later that week, she messaged me and told me how much the visit meant to her. Evangelist Fordyce Detamore stated that we must not give up on former or missing members. Quote, you will be surprised to discover that these are quite easy to reclaim. They seldom lose their love for the truth. After tasting the world for a while, they learn its emptiness, and in times of adversity and need, they crave comfort and security from the church. They respond quickly to kindness and love, and often a single visitation will start them back to Sabbath school and church. End quote. The future. As mentioned earlier, partnering with your leaders to make these visits is important. One of the valuable lessons I learned in my first district was never to do ministry alone. Getting your leaders involved is vital for church growth. Quote, Place the burdens upon men and women of the church, that they may grow by reason of the exercise and thus become effective agents in the hand of the Lord for the enlightenment of those who sit in darkness. End quote. While there have been many changes since the year 2000, one thing remains the same. People crave human touch. We have been made in the image of God, and, therefore, are social because God wants that one-on-one -on -one relationship with us. God is calling us as pastors and under-shepherds to show our care for people. One important way to do that is to visit them. Be a pastor who shows your congregation that you care for each one of them. Do not forget or neglect the importance of visitation. For bibliographical and biblical references on this article, and for much more content for pastors and church leaders, please visit ministrymagazine.org.